this picture. Make sure to understand this is wire. This is a bus. Understand? This is also a bus. And this is the input of a wire. The tool is very sensitive about making a bus connection or making a wire connection. So you cannot say I'm going to use a bus for one wire. One wire. You cannot do that. The bus means it's more than one bit. You can make a bus connection. If it's not, you cannot do that. Okay. Right. Now, so this design, if you look at it, you get two levels of hierarchy. Top level is a block diagram. It contains four components. And naturally, these four components actually reference to three source code for our vision. Okay. You can have block diagram, inside block diagram, inside block diagram. Then bottom will be all the issue. That's okay too. Okay. And real design usually have a lot of hierarchy. So people make small pieces and then they build up pieces, build up pieces. Eventually you get a huge design which are many level hierarchy. Okay. Understand? One is this view. There is a very good. You have done most of this already. Yeah. You have you have done assignment with two. It's, it's just you do that. You change the name, you change the output name, and then you get it done. If you have done it 100 hertz, you can easily make it one hertz. So you need to spend time, most of it, on the static time. Make sure that the counting sequence is fixed. I moved the over there. I put the name. Zero, 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 one. When you reach ten, nine, it goes to ten. When you reach 19 or 20, when it reach, reaches 99, go back to zero and repeat. Alright. Any questions? So make sure that you start working on this ASAP. Once you test the clock, don't touch it. Just leave it there. If the clock is working, save it. Okay? The 77 display, I'm pretty sure it's working. You already done that. So make sure that we spend some time looking at count, make sure that you can count the sequence you want. Alright? Mm -hmm.